everybody. I have the pleasure of doing a 30 minute session for a client. Going to be sharing psychic wisdom and energy healing. The focus is a crystal attunement with Moldavite. Moldavite is one of my favorite stones. Moldavite is the transformation stone. So I'm going to be tuning into your energy field, tuning into the energies of Moldavite, and giving you an amazing energetic upgrade full of wisdom and transformation of your energy field. It's going to be amazing. So I want to thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you for sharing with us here on YouTube. If any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, you can do so by visiting my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, I'm going to relax now and get tuned in. Goals are short and sweet. Crystal attunement with Moldavite. Right now I'm just getting in the zone here. Hmm. Okay. I'm just sort of stepping out before the universe. I'm presenting the energies of Moldavite, the meaning of Moldavite to me. I'm welcoming some higher consciousness of Moldavite to come forward and support this path and this process for you. Because the goal is to attune your energy field to the energies of Moldavite and the gifts of Moldavite, as well as to share messages, wisdom, understandings. I just keep getting this feeling in my heart and it's kind of like it kind of takes my breath. Like, I just feel like I don't know if the heart is just really hardened it just feels really hard and dry and like there's a cut in it. But then I feel inspired to just ignore it and just breathe and everything's going to be fine. That's what I'm running into for starters. This is the beginning of your session. I, I'm still just skimming the surface. We haven't even gone deep yet. I'm still at the doorway and this is coming to me, okay? Okay, you're, you're going to have to let go of some stuff. There's something you're holding on to. Maybe it's not one thing. Maybe it's multiple things. That's what. That's the next thing that's coming to me. Because I can't get through the doorway until you make a, a, a choice. And that, that can be subconscious. You might not even be consciously aware of it. But the Moldavite energies are asking you to really explore letting go. I'm going to try to put more of an explanation to, well, what exactly do you need to let go of? I don't know. But that's another thing. Things feel tight. They feel like resistance. And I feel like I can't move through the door because there's resistance holding me back. And it's because you need to let some things go. Because this here is going to be powerful. This here is going to be a deep dive. This here is going to be all about Moldavite, the transformation stone, which is about you. You, the transformation stone. So it's going to be hard for you to work through transformation if you're holding on to things that you need to let go of because you've got to let it go for you to discover yourself without that stuff. It's time for you to discover yourself in a new way. Okay, I'm going to have I'm going to have to start somewhere because I see you and you you look like a big rock. Not Moldavite, okay? You look like just your basic river rock, but you're, you're like a big, heavy river rock. And you can't move. And you're just really stuck in place. And I see your face is turning blue. As you have the body of a rock, and it's got this big kind of other rock on its head. of the Like the big, a big rock, like the head of the, there's like this head rock on top of a big rock. <laughs> it's like starting to develop in my brain. And you've got this blue head, okay? Like you're holding your breath or something. I feel like it, the, you're still holding back on opening up to me. Again, it comes back to the heart is really hardened like a rock. But there's this like scratch. It's like scratch in this hardened rock in your heart. Okay, Moldavite, I'm going to let you share the next message.
it comes forward as basically a river of energy and it's green and it looks kind of like fire as well and we're standing out before a great lake that has green water but the water seems to flow out of the lake and towards you and it's welcoming you to walk into the center of this lake but you're really broken and you're really resistant you don't want to walk into the center because why don't you want to walk into the center it's like you're angry at love you're really angry at love and to walk into the center of this lake is just letting yourself be in the center of love you're resisting that that's what you're gonna have to let go of resistance to being in the center of love So I asked Moldavite, what is the next message? How do we help you know that it's safe? Moldavite says that it's, it's okay to be angry. And we're going to start with the first angry thing that you want to vent from your hardened heart. The big scratch in it. And you try to vent about it, but it's it sounds like a bunch of scrambled words that are kind of cut and blipped and pasted and copy-pasted in random ways. Like, it just sounds like a weird technological blip of a statement. It seemed like, <laughs> it's like really goofy sounding, okay? And then that frustrates you and you look like a big rock again in a blue face. Like, a, there's like a ball on a big rock it's like a blue face on this yes that's what you look like <laughs> and so moldavite asks you to please keep trying and even if it sounds like scrambled words it's still um, venting maybe you want it to sound better than that but that's that's really good actually it's, that's more than it was before So you take Moldavite through a dark chamber and you, you, I hear this whisper and it's kind of Lord of the Rings like, like um, the chamber that has no name. <laughs> it's, it's got this like kind of, I don't know, cool store backstory vibe to it. Like we're going to go into some ancient dwarven halls or something, <laughs> but it's, it's like the door that has no name and it's really heavy and stone like, and it's forgotten and it's dark. And you look a bit like a, a very hairy troll as you open this door and it's pure darkness. And it started to feel very sad for you. And the spirit of Moldavite, it, it moves um, into this sort of like chamber before we go to, through the door. And the Moldavite is completely green, like a green water that also represents green fire. And so what do we do next, Moldavite? Moldavite says this is you venting. This is you... Yeah working through the scramble of your words. But Moldavite does not go through that door. Moldavite stays on the outside of the door. And you say, I need help. And nobody can help me. Like, nobody can, nobody. Like, there is nobody that can help me. Nobody, no single person can help me. Like, it's almost like 
at one time you believed that there could be someone that, that could help you. And you found that there's literally nobody that can help you. And something about Moldavite not going through that door, it just, it's like um, part of the cut into your heart that it just proves that nobody can help you. But obviously you're reaching out for help, so let's see if we can't help a little bit. Because if we could help even an inch, that's still help, right? The Moldavite is whispering to me about this room is where it's almost like you go to separate yourself from people or from life or from sound or from responsibility from it's just like a place of of your own where you can just go and it's just you and in a way, it's a very sad place, but it is oddly a healing place or a comfort place. It, it keep hearing it's the one place. It is the one place that you can go. It is the one place that you can go. It keeps saying that it, it is the one place that you can go. And is it Moldavite that that doesn't go in by choice or isn't allowed in just like you wouldn't allow yourself to go into the middle of the lake would you and even if you wanted help you wouldn't let help in would you because that uh, nobody can help you right This is why the heart's so such a hard rock. And in a way, you, you would rather be this sort of overgrown and hairy, ogre-like troll and your special door and your special room. It's one place that you can go and it, it is the one place that you can go. It's round. It's actually a circular room. It's made out of stone and it's full of complete darkness. And it's it's like a blanket of comfort. That's interesting because the lake of Moldavite was also round. And it's full of this green watery light, this fire. I want to say the spirit represents female and it moves from female to neutral. So sometimes it doesn't represent anything but, but a neutral identity, but then it, it whispers into a female identity and then goes back to neutral. It doesn't ever lean into a masculine expression. This representation of Moldavite does not. This is the representation of Moldavite that you need. This is a representation that is going to empower you. Now really empower your situation, your energy field, and transform your life. Because there's no doubt about where where Moldavite's taking me, what I'm being shown here. It it's just it's revealing that that the one thing you need to transform, it's you need to let go. What we're looking at, what we're talking about here, you've got to, you've got to really explore this. Okay. I'm not saying that this is going to be easy. But at least we're taking a look at it and we're starting from somewhere, right? We got to start from somewhere. It's like, okay, let's start venting. And it's like, it's like, doesn't make any sense. I can't say it right. I can't even put words to it. I can't even explain it. Bam, Harry, big troll. I'm just going to go into the one place. Nobody can help me. Nobody. Like, it's pretty deep stuff here. I'm, I'm going to challenge you. <laughs> challenge time, okay? <laughs> you can do this. I don't know why it's making me... I just feel like I want to laugh. Maybe you need laughter. Maybe that's what this is. <sighs> I feel like you need laughter. Like, uh, Challenge time. And I challenge you. 
<laughs> I can't get it out. Ah, I can do this. I can do this. Why is this so hard to say it? This is your thing. This is your communication issue. <laughs> I will get it out. If I can get it out, that means that you're going to get it out and it's going to be achieved. <laughs> We're working together here. We're working with Moldavite. Okay. You can do this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> They're saying, okay, Abby, you can do this. And then through Abby, we can do this for you. Okay. You, do you see the jam I'm dealing with? I, Abby, can't even speak it. It's like not allowed. The words that the door has no name, like the words cannot be spoken. We can't even speak them right. This is the one place. Shut the door, bam. Everybody's disconnected from you. Like this, this is a communication thing. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, saying, I'm like whispering it in my head for starters. And I whisper that you can let Moldavite in. I whisper that in my head to you, okay? Do you see, like, you are making it hard for me to put the words in your own mouth because you're refusing to say that? It's like a weird thing you're doing. You can let Moldavite in. You can let Moldavite in. I, I challenge you to try. I challenge you to try. This is a sick place. Holy smokes. Because even as I say the words, it's revealing um, this This is not a place where you're just by yourself, by the way. This is a really, really bad place energetically. It's pretty, it's, uh, it's rotting. It's filthy and rotting and gross and there's old gross nasty memories that are rotting away in here. You're rotting away with your gross rotting memories. I mean, it's really, really difficult. I mean, this is hardcore stuff. But you will not say it yet. However, it's enough for me to whisper it to you. It's enough of an edge that I, I see the illumination of the green light and the firelight is starting to glow inside of the one place, okay? The door that has no name. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the light is illuminating rot. Rotting. You're rotting and you're rotting. Is this your mind? Is this your memories? Like, is this the door to your memories? Gosh. <sighs> because this rounded space is starting to make me think of memory or the mind, thoughts, reflections, rotting away, feeling rotten. Maybe the, the, the memories are really difficult. I, 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 I tell you in your heart, like I whisper in your heart that you can do this. It takes a lot of courage to come from a place of rot like this. It takes a lot of courage even to show me your door that has no name. It takes a lot of courage to reveal yourself as this hairy, overgrown ogre troll. It takes a lot of courage even to try to vent. It takes a lot of courage, doesn't it? You're full of hate, man. So you do, you say, it's almost like bitterly fine. I, I let Moldavite in, but it, as you say it, it's it's like you you think it back to me. You don't speak it. When you think it, it starts to come out of your mouth. And what comes out of your mouth is a gross, nasty, like black, dark, like energy being, okay? And it's coming out from basically the root of you. Through the sacral chakra, through the emotional gut, through the heart, through the throat, it's coming out of you like this. And I started to see that somebody came in here and this would be something you would have wanted, even if you wouldn't tell yourself you wanted it. And they came in and they, they actually took um, some stone basically nails and like Jesus style. Okay. But they hammered your feet into the ground and you look horrifying. I mean, you look like Jesus just got tortured, like skin peeled off, like eyeballs hanging out of the face, guts spewed out on the floor. 
your feet are nailed to the ground of th this door that has no name, the one place and nobody can help you. We got to start somewhere. Even if we can only help you an inch, we've got to start somewhere, right? And it requires you to ask for help and bam, look it. You've got this session. We're working with Moldavite who loves you. We love you. This is, this is, you have to enter into the lake. You have to be at the center of all the love that is there for you. And you're, you're destroying yourself. You don't, it's like, you don't want the love to be there for you. But you do, because nobody can thrive in this kind of torturous environment. Right? Okay, so the next thing, and Moldavite tells me this is okay. Moldavite starts to behave or appear to be a demon, okay? And you start screaming. And it's it, love is not a demon. Love is only a demon to <laughs> a demon that, that is terrified of love, okay? <laughs> you know, this is happening this week for some reason. There's like a facing of our demons going on. <laughs> It's like, here we have the demon that hates love, and love is the demon to the demon that rejects it, okay? But to love, love is like, you're rejecting me. You're you're a demon rejecting the one thing that you need to transform and stop being a demon. Ah! I like, curse you, love! <laughs> I just like put a crucifix up to love. <laughs> That's like what demons do, like, get away! <laughs> I don't know how they're like, does that work? Is crucifix work? <laughs> it's kind of like that though. It's really funny. These weird like relationships between light and dark. Okay. Okay, so so we we will this is creepy. Okay, this is something we gotta work through this. This is we can help you, okay? We totally can help you here. <laughs> okay, so this is getting creepy. We got to keep moving forward. So Moldavite, the demon, which is actually not, is full of love. But the darkness that is here that you just barfed out of your system and you said, okay, I let Moldavite in, is manipulative as all get out. And so that is, it's just like turned out the light, okay? And it's all very creepy in here now. No wonder you like it in the dark because you can't see all the suffering. You can't even see the suffering that you're enduring. Like, you're kind of doing it to yourself. Like, you can't even tell that you're doing it to yourself. And I tell you to listen to the sound of Moldavite. We, I don't want to identify it as anything. I say, let, let's not identify it as an angel or a demon. Let's just identify it as Moldavite. Let's just do that. And just listen to the sound that Moldavite is here. And you're, you're like uh, someone who lost their mind in a dark dungeon that was, like, thrown down there and left there for 20 years to just rot. And you were given little scrapes of food, but I, why would they even keep you alive? I don't know. Maybe your soul died. Maybe you did die and your soul just never left the, the dark dungeon. That, that happens, too, where souls fragment in places. They die in prison. They stay in prison. It's weird. And then sometimes you got to pull fragments of your soul out of times and places when you were in prison for a long time and when you died you stayed in prison it's just, that happens you really appreciate you really like being just as far away as you can get because it's safer to be with some it's like familiarity which is yourself and all of that's beyond you is unfamiliar, is um, wild, is untamed, is out of control, is, is cruel, manipulative. Because even if it was loving, it, 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 why would it be loving if it didn't want something in return? Nothing is ever just loving. It's loving because. Why else would it be loving if it wasn't wanting something? That's it's like, you're like... Um, this you're like this mind echoing in a in a dungeon and you you're kind of like um like eyes twi twitching back and forth like looking and you're like why you know why would it, it be love 
Why would it be love if it doesn't want something? Like it's something in the way that you say it, want something, want something, want something. Like, like really um, aggressive, like, um, like nobody could ever just love you. Because nobody loves you unless they want something from you. That's why you go in there. Because that is the only place where you could love yourself. But look at how you're loving yourself. I don't know how we're going to work on you being able to trust that love is not evil. <laughs> because somewhere you adopted that love was, was evil. Do you see this demon angel thing going on? And the, 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 the demon with the crucifix towards the light. I, I don't know. How does that work? Does that work? Like, I really need to think about this. <laughs> and I will be, believe me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. That's what Moldavite wants to get. You see what we're talking about letting go? You see why it was like hard for me to go through the door? Like, hmm, there's something you gotta let go of. <laughs> we're getting there, aren't we? This is actually good. This is, this is like intervention time. Uh, so I say, Moldova, I don't know how to get you out of this. You aren't. Okay, so Moldova says, it, it's like, we're not going to judge any of your behaviors. So the next behavior is you're still kind of like a crippled mind, um, talking to yourself in a dark place. And somehow in the scene, you have a lighter and you I hear you open it and then you light just the lighter right so we have a little flame and then you you just flip it and I hear that and you do this back and forth and back and forth and you 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 open it you flip it open you light and then you close it you flip it open you light you close it and you just do this back and forth and back and forth and something about this lighter and this flame it's like your one true friend because you you have complete control over it. It can't do anything to you, can it? You you have it. It is something you can have. It doesn't own you. You own it. If you could have it, that it could be simply something that you could have. It's like this small object could mean the world. It could be your very soulmate. But if you become too close to the dark, and you will lose yourself in that soulmate, you cannot lose yourself to that soulmate. So you hold on to this lighter, and this lighter then will be your soulmate, this object. Because even the dark is like a living thing but it's more than this lighter. You cannot burn it away. And you tell me that even if you could ignite a, a much larger fire in here in this dark place, it would not take the darkness away. And I say, hmm. And I put you out in a sunny day, and I, I say, try to find the darkness now. And you... You give me like one eye, like like your other eye maybe is bad, and then you give me one eye, and um, you say, but the darkness is inside me, and the sun will never reach it. There's always darkness. There's always darkness, and you're like rambling on about this, and even in in the day, there is always the night of the universe, like the night of the stars like we don't see it because the sun's shining but it's the stars are always out but you really um say that it is inside of you and i say okay wow i say moldavite what are we trying to reconcile here because there's some deep stuff that your soul's exploring and i feel these are connected to real lifetimes along the way 
where you really endured some very prolonged periods of time being completely cut off from human interaction. I mean, completely either. I, th this is really showing that it just, it feels like you, you're in a dungeon, like alone. Like you could eat the cockroaches that run through here or the rats. Like that was how you survived is eating whatever came through here. Molevite wants to take us, like, take the conscious back to the round room. And we're going to try this again, where you're going to speak it, that you would like Moldavite's help with letting this go. And Moldavite is not giving up on you and sees you reaching the center of this lake of love. You do have to want it. And then you will have it. And it would be that easy. <sighs> something reeks. Something smells this disgusting. And when it's, it smells disgusting, it stinks. Something's changing in the energy. Something new. I don't know what it is. Just a moment. It's something in here. It's it, I, the best I can define it as a king cobra snake, but it's a female snake because there's something about the body shape and that it's long. Um. And it reeks. It, 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 anything that smells really, really bad in the energy world is putrid in energy. Energetically putrid, okay? When things are energetically putrid, it's like spoiled, rotten food. Was it always bad or did it become that way? You know what I mean? It's like conditions create rot in the energy world. And when there's rot, it's just it's lacking in light and nourishment and... Vitality and stuff like that is just a soul dying. And souls don't die. They become twisted and weird. And the souls are light, aren't they? So when souls are not their light, what are they? Hmm? What are souls when they are not their light? They become twisted and weird. They just become something that is twisted and weird. This is a problem. This is a major problem. There is a, it's just, it's more than a snake, okay? It's, it's a living, like, flesh rotting corpse -ish snake, human snake body thing. <laughs> and it's sad very sad. I just can't. It's rotting away in sadness. Okay, so Moldavite, what's the next thing here? Because we're, you're venting. I mean, you're, you're revealing a lot to us. This, this is the suffering. We got to work on this, right? This isn't, this is like, woven into the nature this is woven into you like how do you let go of yourself like if yourself has become um kind of tortured by these echoing memories of other lifetimes or them um, paralleling into this lifetime things you've experienced and it's built up um all this sound that's very familiar to your soul because it's not the first time, like you, you, you just not didn't go around the block yesterday, like you did this before, again and again and again, like you're revisiting it. But this isn't just some thin process, like this is multi-dimensional chaos, really. It's very manipulative, and it's very destructive, and it's very long time. 
No wonder Moldavite, because Moldavite can heal all of this. Moldavite can help you. You see, Moldavite can help you. So I, I simply say, why don't we just simplify all this complex stuff? That's true. But, but let's just simplify it. Now that we, we identified it, we'll simplify it to Moldavite can help you. So we've, we've exposed some pretty severe places, right? Like three severe places, three severe um, expressions that you have talking in your subconscious. Like it's, it's, it's in your energy field. It's, it's part of you, part of your soul. You hear the sound of this. You live in the sound of this. I mean, I don't just come across this stuff unless it's there. You know what I mean? Like, this is there. Moldavite can help you. Come on, snap out of it. Moldavite can help you. Simplify it on down and I, I grab you and I hoist you into the center of the lake. And I just put you out there. And you're surrounded by this water, green water, fire, light. And I say, let Moldavite in. Let Moldavite help you. And you're just, it's not just your voice that's screaming. It's the sound of other voices here screaming because those voices don't want you to not need them anymore. They don't want you to choose to be at the center of love. Because they don't know how to be at the center of love and they can be your friend. If you don't want to be at the center of love, you can have each other. And it'll get stinky, you know. But you won't notice. You'll be in the dark. You won't be able to tell. But that's not how you grow and thrive. That's not you being your own light. That's you rejecting yourself. So don't reject yourself. And don't let any other energies encourage you to do that either. Like you got to be in the, the pillar of the Moldavite, okay? And let it be your strength and your protection from that influence. And you should say this, Moldavite can and is helping me. And the one place is, you need to, you need to move on from the one place. I mean, you need to go to the Lake of Moldavite and you need to be at the center of the Moldavite love. And you need to say that I'm at the center of the Moldavite love. And I'm letting go of anything that was associated with the one door or and nobody can help me. And it's just like, I have this one thing. This is the one thing that could love me. But I have to be careful of the dark, but the dark is inside me, even if during the day, blah, blah, blah. Like you, you, you're going to have to really own it here. And these statements, simple statements, Moldavite is powerful. Moldavite is helping me. Moldavite um, is helping me. Moldavite can and is helping me. Moldavite, 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 Moldavite. Real, true, genuine love. Real, true, genuine support. And it doesn't love you because it wants anything from you. It just, just loves you. Simple. That love could be simple. There's nothing else there but just love. That's it. That love can be simple. <sighs> All right. All right. Thank you. Wow, what a journey. That, you know, that's... <sighs> Leave it to Moldavite to go into some really deep crevices. No wonder it's a transformation stone, because imagine transforming some of these dark hellscapes inside your atmosphere. And once you bring light and healing to that, it's going to send you to another level of, of vibration attracting energies that are of love and not energies that are of some other kind, right? The real thriving energies. Real nurture, real support, 
real healing. That was amazing. Thank you so very much. And thank you everybody for watching. And again, if you're interested in exploring a session, you can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have an amazing day, everybody.